Hi, here I am again talking about Parse. Um, in the last couple of videos, we set up a simple Parse app. And in the last video, uh, we included a feature that let you sign up and create a user account. So now that you have a user account, you probably want to be able to log in with your username and your password. So, uh, you know, we'll just keep things simple and not worry about the layout of the page and stuff for right now. So why don't we put a sign-in form right here above the, I mean, a, a login form right here above the sign-up form. And then, you know, it'll have two fields for, you know, uh, username and password and then a submit button just like this. And then you'll click it and it'll sign you in. So uh, let's go to our editor here. And uh, you'll see I'm at the top of the page here. And I'm going to make an H1 just with a title to uh, let you know that you can log in. And then you'll see uh, we'll make a form. You're kind of seeing a pattern here, right? It's gonna, this form is going to be almost exactly like the one down here. Let's give this form an ID. We'll call it login, and then uh, we'll make a couple form elements here. And I'm going to make them exactly like the ones below. I'm going to change the ID name though, so this will be login name. Type will be text, and then. Uh, We'll do input ID, how about login password, and the type will be password this time. And then we'll add a submit button, so this will be input. ID login submit type will be submit okay so there we go so this form you know you can see it's it's almost identical to the one below it and uh, now how are we going to log in with parse well let's scroll down to our JavaScript and what I want to do here is add a submit action, you know, kind of just like this one down here. <clears throat> and we'll just set up a submit action for the login. Okay, so so there's our submit. And so we'll need a function to handle the submit. Okay, so there we go. So we got login, submit is this function. We've got the event object. Let's make sure that we prevent the default behavior of the uh, of the submit action because that'll refresh the browser which would erase our JavaScript right so we got to make sure that people don't refresh the browser and then let's collect the name and the password and this will be just like the one down here you know except in this case we're getting the name from the login name field instead of the sign-in name field, right? But we'll use val again to get the, the value from the form element. And then we'll get our password here. And this will be from login password. Okay, so now we got the login password. And then the next step this will be a little bit different, okay? So, you know, pretty much down to here, at things were the same, but when we signed in, we had to create a new user object and set the username and password on it. When we log in, we're gonna call parse.user.login, okay? So this is a different function, and we don't need to create a new user object, we just need to, um, send the username and the password to parse, and then parse will give us the user object if the name and the password match, okay? So, um, so here we go. Uh, we'll type in name, comma, pass, which is my value here for the password, right? 
and then the third parameter for this login function is you know the the results object right or not I don't know, not the results but the you know success or error object right so just like we did before we'll do success and this will be a function comma error colon function okay and so you know the way this is going to work is we're going to call login we're going to pass the name and the password and if the login is successful parse will call the success action here you know it'll execute this function under success and if it's if there's an error like it's the wrong username and password then it will um, it will call on the error function okay so uh, let's kind of format our code here a little bit so it reads nicely there we go right so parse user login name password success and I, on success it actually passes the user object back to you and let's put a console log message in here so we know if this is if, if we've been logged in successfully so we'll say um, login success okay and then over here I think this one passes if I remember correctly it's the username and an error object okay and so you know if this is a failure you know if you logged in and it didn't it didn't work you use the wrong username and password or something then we're gonna say login error and will include the error message okay so there we go their simple login system right um, and I'll save all that and let's give it a try so uh, I'll go to my browser here I'll refresh everything and now you can see I have I now have the new login form at the top and I had in the last video I had created a username called test and given it a super top secret password and then I'll type those in and then I'll click submit and it says oh login success I'm not quite sure what that is I got some other error there but uh, but it seems like it worked let's go back to parse um, and I'm gonna refresh this and it should show me now when it refreshes it should show me a session the role and the user okay and I had actually tested this off the video before I'd done the video so I actually made another user account too called hello right so so it shows that um, but anyway so now you'll see that the session is in here and this user is logged in because there's you know the session kind of we don't ever edit this but the session says what who who's logged in and on what device okay so you can actually ask parse you could say hey you know is so-and-so logged in on their mobile phone or is so-and-so logged in on their desktop computer or are they logged in on both right but anyway now we have our 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 session and it's logged in right um, and if I go back here let's let's do one more example while we're on this right so so this is working pretty good but if we really want to test it we want to be able to log out also right so we want to be able to log out and then log back in or log in with a different user account so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the top here of my HTML so there's the main div inside the body tag and I'll just make an h1 tag here right um, and let's make a button here that says log out and then below that I'm gonna make a div and in this div right here I'll make a button you could use a form for this too um, I'm just gonna use a button though and make it log out like that okay and then let's give this button an ID so we can identify it and we'll call it how about just log out that's pretty easy right so now you know clicking on this button is gonna log us out at parse okay so let me go down to my JavaScript here I'll make a little space and I'm gonna put this right in here so this will be a little bit different than the other ones but very similar so I'm gonna add a, um, a JavaScript here to the logout element which is my button right so it's got the ID logout 
And then since this isn't a form, we'll just use jQuery's click method, which is going to work in pretty much the same way. Okay, but since it's not a form, we can't do submit. Okay, so when a click occurs on the on the logout button, you know, then this function is going to execute. And if you want, you can put the event object here. And in this case, the 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 button isn't going to refresh the browser by itself. So we don't need to do event.preventDefault. Okay, so so we've got this, and now how do we log out? Well, let's say parse dot um, user dot log out. There we go, right? And, uh, and that should log us out. Let's give it a try, right? So um, so we'll go to our browser here, and um, we'll refresh it there, right? And then I'll log out. And then I'll log back in. Login success, right? Okay. So um, I'm already logged in. Maybe that last error that I saw was because I was already logged in and then I logged in again, right? So anyway, so there we go. And we should be logged in over here. Um, let's try it. What if I log out and then refresh this one? And now you can see there's zero sessions, right? Because I logged out, so nobody's logged in, so there's zero here. And if I go to parse and then I, you know, type in my username and my password and submit, then I should log in again. And when I go back over here, if I go to sessions or if I refresh this page, then it'll show me one session because one person is logged in currently. Okay? So there you go. There's uh, login with parse.